hello everyone so in this video we are going to see the glue architecture how actually glue works so i have taken the one of the case study based on that actually we will try to understand the glue architecture okay so uh, this is the glue architecture if you can if you are able to see okay in, in this peak actually if you will see we have a data store we have a crawler we have a data catalog and you can see we have a data source a script is there data target is there okay so what actually glue is like glue is like uh, we are doing a atl kind of the activity in a aws space that is nothing but a glue now let us try to understand some of the terminology and we will try to understand the architecture okay so if you can see on the top we have a data store suppose in a data store you can understand suppose what is your data source suppose you have a data that is uh, coming from the amazon s3 rds this all the all the data source okay data stores from where actually your data is present okay that is nothing but your data stores now after that you can see we have a crawler crawler what is the use of the crawler is like crawler will crawl all your data whatever is there into a amazon s3 location okay so whenever you will do a any kind of the glue activity okay first thing is like first you will create a crawler in the crawler you have to specify your source location that is nothing but your data store the crawler will crawl all your data and it will store into a data catalog so in a data catalog all your metadata information will get stored okay like all the schema about your tables and all in a, a data catalog itself the table will get created there you have to specify the database and all okay so we have understood like data store is nothing but your source crawler will do a crawling and it will create one table and it will store the metadata information into a data catalog okay and that actually we can access through AWS management console and other work. Okay. Now, now after that, what actually happened? You have a data source is ready. Okay. Because the data catalog after crawling, you will be having a metadata information. Okay. Now your data sources will be ready. Now after that, with the help of the ETL, we can create one job. Okay. In the, in, when we will do a practical, you will get more idea about like how actually we can create a job. In the job, we have a multiple option, like the automated ETL script will get generated through a visual itself. So if you don't know about the coding, it also you can create an automated ETL script and you can modify that based on your requirement. And if you know about the PySpark and all, so if you have a, if you can write a script that also you can write a script okay so extracting also so whatever the transformation you, we have to do we will do in a script level okay so first we will do extraction from our data stores after that we will perform a uh, transformation through a script or through automated script and finally we will load into a final location that is our the data target so that is how the glue architecture works it is similar to the etl activity like how actually we perform a data extraction transformation and loading okay so this is nothing but a glue architecture hope you understood that and we will see more about whenever we'll do a practical okay in the next video we are going to do a practical only